Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing ASMT. You can tell the game isn't paused because the little light there in the corner is flashing. Also I can move. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so... I'm stuck here with two lives, so after each success I'm gonna be safe stating. I'm just gonna reload save on death. Hey there everyone, it's Cow playing ASMT. We're at the last part of Trial of Iron. We got all these fantastic little teleporter rooms with a wide variety of activities within. Let's... I'm hoping to do, like, half of it today. Let's see how this goes. Arbitrarily going here. Oh, look at that! You start with double mushrooms directly. Also, I think you're broken? Or you're supposed to do that? Okay. Anyways, it's kind of a... I remember it being kind of a harsh boss because it's kind of hard to fight. Oh, these guys follow you really well. Okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, so you got this guy who follows you, and he's got children who also follow you. But... Children have an expiration date. You know, as they do. So you gotta be careful. Like... Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, well, I mean, that made contact. So, like, this, yeah, like, I feel like that's kind of why you almost want to hack more often than not, is to just kind of, like, swim up into your shells and... Oh, jeez, now you got fire. And now you're wrapping across the screen. I got a life. Uh, okay, I did not expect to be farming lives this way, though. Me, okay, well, I mean, let's at least uh, enjoy uh, what happens when you die. You appear here, in this box, and then you go in this door. Woohoo! Yeah, so... So the reason why I want to do this... Because it's the one closest to the teleporter. Like, that's my rationality. I mean, they're all gonna be done, so... I like, don't worry about it. Uh, video games. Video games! That's all I have to add right now. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, you need to, like, anticipate them, like, way in advance, the small ones. They aren't powerful. Which, I mean, you kind of do this. You kind of do a loose circle around the world. You can kind of see the face in the jellyfish if you don't think about things too much. Then things are not too hard. Yeah, that's how it works. So at this point, I fly, I swim, I fly into its fireballs. And then, oh shoot. No, oh, the earthquake is an actual earthquake? Oh geez, okay. I forgot about that phase. I was hoping I'd hit the small one, but it turns out it would not have been. Necessary. Yeah, so I'm getting alive because, like, I, I keep hitting the shells without touching the ground. So it's like if I was constantly jumping on shells again and again and again. Little quirk of the engine here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like. Whoa! Like, it's so sudden. The transition to whoops, no more swimming is super sudden. I mean, I kind of want to stretch this out as much as possible so I can get more lives. Honestly. If I can just hang out here. Oh, but then they don't pop. Uh. Oh no, how did I miss that? Then a new one is falling, but then I just get hurt like an idiot. Like, I just flew right into it. Dang it. I... I mean... This movement is very predictable. No one to blame there but me. Ah, dang it! The fireball, though! Kinds of guess it's lost in a shuffle. Dang it! How... Hmm... Ugh. So, what am I- okay, so these are platforms. I kind of forgot about that. So... Sweet. Wait, there's the ice physics? Ah! Yeah. Dude, this feels super bad. Like, he earthquakes way too much. Okay, sure. Off-screen bullets. I'm basically just... Okay, yeah, trying to live. Wait, I think you made me drop... 
the, the thing I already had. Alright, so then I can just chuck that down. Ah, this feels so bad. Like, I cannot over... Ah, like, it feels so bad. It feels super bad. It feels so bad. There's just too much earthquakes. Like, yeah, it just shoots out from the side of the screen. Like... Like, that was physically possible to dodge. Just grab the stupid thing! You know what's a really good idea? Putting the things you need to harm the boss on the side of the screen, where things can just pop up randomly to kill you. Oh man, that's a great move there. What's well, a great move if you're the boss trying to kill Demo? Not a great move if you're trying to have a fun time with the video game and the boss despawned. dodge that it just happens like look they just appear like you cannot react to these little squids they just become no. these platforms are terrible by the way oh, they're probably custom blocks and like ah stupid impossible to dodge squid stupid i this i this feel ah uh, uh, uh. <sighs> i'm like i feel like at this point i need to play another room because otherwise i'm wasting life farms but i just want to get this stupid thing done at this point i just want this thing to be dead so I don't have to think about it ever again. Why is this giving me so much trouble? Like, did I just luck it back then? Did I save scum it? Like, really? I beat this? On to the sh da double neck. I hate these blocks. They're the bad bl custom blocks with a bad corner. And then stupid earthquakes in addition to that, and there's ice physics for some reason. It's just like, this is night- Jump! Good! Please! Ah, uh, this- You cannot do anything. I can't dodge that! Like, I, you-, you... And then getting the shells is like an absolute or like how do you design this by being a literal child? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Like I just don't trust the creator, which I believe is Chadata. Like I do not trust that they've actually beaten this. Honestly, at this point. Yeah, 
Yeah, I tried to predict when it was going to, yeah, do that, and I predicted wrong. Okay, five hits. <sighs> Look, the light is gone. Like from my soul.